What's going on AP world people? We have video number five, topic 1.5. This one is going to be on state systems in Africa. So let's start talking about West Africa and Mali, a state that we will come back to in the next unit as well. So this was founded after the decline of Ghana. If you remember the three major West African empires are Ghana, Mali, and then later Songhai. This was founded by Sudiata, and he was exiled from Mali and later returned in 1235 and became king. From the 13th to 15th centuries, Mali was at its peak, and Timbuktu was a major wealthy city and a trading city of the Mali Empire, and it was also a center for Islamic learning. Mansa Musa is an important figure in Mali history. He was the grandnephew of Sundiata, and he made a pilgrimage to Mecca or the Hajj in 1324. And he brought 100, 100 camels, thousands of people, and just really an obscene amount of gold that he spread everywhere he went. So much gold that there was inflation in Alexandria, Egypt, through his travels. After his pilgrimage, he established religious schools, built mosques, and encouraged religious learning throughout the Mali Empire. And by the late 15th century, Songhai took over as the major kingdom of West Africa. Staying in Africa, but jumping over to East Africa, we have Zimbabwe. This was from the 12th to the 15th centuries, and the location is in modern-day Zimbabwe and Mozambique. Focused on agriculture, trade, and gold, and they traded with, with Swahili city-states, Persia, India, and China. The wall of stone surrounded. There was a wall of stone that surrounded the capital of Great Zimbabwe, pictured here, and 20,000 people lived there. However, over time, overgrazing by animals led to the city's abandonment. Now, focusing on Ethiopia in East Africa, they practiced Christianity beginning in the 12th century. However, they developed independently from the Roman Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox Church due to their distance from Europe. They were able to have a unique style of Christianity. They combined African elements with Christianity, including ancestor veneration, worshiping of spirits, etc. All right, quick recap. Location and dates for Mali and Zimbabwe. Make sure you know it. Timbuktu is a major trading center and Islamic learning center. Mansa Musa and Islam and Zimbabwe as well. All right, guys, look forward to see you back here for video number six, topic 1.6. Thanks for watching. Best of luck on all your exams, especially the one in May, and have a good day.